Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this quick tutorial, we're going to have a look at how we blur out a number plate with the new trackers in Final Cut Pro. So, the first thing we're going to need is our video clip with a number plate on it. So, we've just got this short clip here, and we're going to come across to our blur effects on the right hand side. We're going to grab the Gaussian blur. So, with this, I'm going to click and hold on it. Instead of dragging it across to my clip, I'm going to drag it up to my viewer here, and I'm going to drop it onto the number plate. So, we'll just drop it there. And we've got two options once we drag something onto a location in Final Cut Pro, and those are up here. So we've got our shape options and our tracker options. So the first thing I'm going to do is just modify my shape so that it fits that number plate. So I'm going to lower the height a little bit and then lower the radius of the blur. So it's just nice and tight around that number plate. And we can modify the size of that a little bit later. And then I'm going to come to Tracker and I'm going to click Analyze. So now we can play that through. And you can see really quickly, we've got a nice smooth track of that number plate. It's changing size a little bit, um, but basically a really nice job of tracking that number plate. We could add a little bit more blur on there if we wanted to. So just extend that out a little bit. And we can also, if we want to, come back and retrack it. So maybe I'll come a little bit earlier in my footage here, come back to Tracker, and if I hit Analyze again, it's going to analyze it from that particular point. And you can see the second track is a little bit smoother, so sometimes just adjusting your track position just a little bit can make all the difference in how smooth your track is. So just a quick tutorial there, showing how to track and blur another plate in Final Cut Pro. If you have any questions about the new tracker in Final Cut Pro or other questions that you're struggling with in your editing, then leave them below in the comments. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.